friends Andrew here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Google password manager as an application on your Windows 11 PC so to install this guys you want to head over to google.com ensure that you sign into your Gmail account then click the Google apps here from the upper right hand side scroll all the way down to where you'll find the password manager click on that now this will take you into the Google account here where you can find all the information here about your password manager. But to install this as an application, you just need to click the three dots again on the upper remote right hand side of Chrome. Then go down to save and share and click create shortcut. Now you're not just creating a shortcut here. To install it as an application, simply click on open as window and then click on create. And have a look at that guys. It is no creating an application here fully installed on my Windows 11 computer. Now I can right click on this on the taskbar and pin it here for quick access or I can simply click on the start option here and simply type in password and I will see password manager here from the Google and it's in the application here. So you can right click on that and you can pin it to start or even pin it to taskbar as well. You can uninstall it from here as well as you can see. Now, in order to remove this from my computer, if I no longer want it, I'm going to simply click the three dots here in the upper right hand side. Then click uninstall password manager. Then I click remove and it will uninstall it from my computer. And that's how you can easily go ahead, guys, and install Google Password Manager on your Windows 11 PC. Now, guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful. And if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're seeing the channel for the first time, well, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo, and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community. And also, so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much, and see you next time.